Hello people, I am GasMath, and I welcome you to this video. Sorry for the poor intro, but this is the best I could do. But nevertheless, I am here to talk about probably one of the most popular role-playing games on Roblox, After the Flash, more specifically, After the Flash Mirage. For those who are unaware, After the Flash Mirage is the new entry in the After the Flash series. I will be talking about the problems I have with the game and how they could be fixed. During the video, I will talk about the game itself, the community, and some other things. Please do not harass anyone mentioned in this video. I do not support harassment of any kind. I also will, I will also refer after Flash Mirage, just Mirage. Before I start, I would like to state that I've played Mirage for 223 hours, so I feel like that I am able to criticize the game fairly. Mirage is a game is, is okay, if not a little mediocre. It's fun. It's it's fun for the first five minutes you play it, but it gets boring and the role playing gets repetitive. The rules for the game are hard to understand because there is no rule book in the game. Yes, there is a rule book on Discord, but I still think there should be one in game to help new players. The lore is something that's also a problem. People don't seem to know it is fact. I've been told many things that people say is true. I wanted to get yelled at by a turbo nerd. Because I got it wrong. Having a lore book, or even bio for places and factions, kind of what Blastwing Max has, would help this a lot. The game is also heavily monetized. Playing the game as a free to play is very boring. In events, you rarely get one item for free. The one way that these events are monetized is the dreaded box, which is basically a glorified, predetermined loot box that you need to wait for about a month to get the actual item that you're probably, but you're still going to probably get an entire essay worth of lore to use. It's also going to cost you around 40 bucks to get all the items for that event because they cost around a thousand robux each. Now, yes, I understand that Chad has to pay those little helpers that make his models, but why a loot box? I don't need to remind you that we hate loot boxes. Everyone does. Almost everyone. Like, <sighs> okay, let's talk about the community now. The community of Mirage is bad. Like, the worst I've ever seen on Robux. People are more likely arguing over small and important things instead of role playing. There's speed typing, or just or everyone's just complaining over nothing. The admin and group members are either unhelpful, annoying, or praising the rulebook like it's the Bible. The group members are mostly boring. Rarely do I ever see any any of them with a truly good OC, but the few that do have a good C are usually really nice and allow some leeway in the rules. But they're about as rare as finding a needle in a planet-sized haystack. The OC arguing is fucking annoying. Out of my 223 hours, I have about 55 hours of actual role-playing. The rest is either walking around, or getting yelled at by a turbo nerd. Like, even when I, like, even when I do, even when I make a basic mistake, I will be yelled at for about two minutes, even when I'm trying to defuse the argument. Role-playing as a group is even worse. It takes one o OC sniper to send the entire group into an OOC fuckfest. Seals are hard to RP with because they're either an ass or just not playing the game at all. Engineers are never on or anything SFL for that matter. USCPF is either is never played. CDF is cool, but rarely do I ever see anyone but rarely do I ever see anyone playing as CDF. Mutants are okay for the most part. Some are assholes, but not all of them. The coyotes were cool while they lasted. But now no one plays them. Outcasts are cool. Rarely do I ever see a dickhead outcast. The community sucks for the most part. If they remove some of the restrictions and some of the rules, I think it could be improved. As well as adding a rulebook and a lore book to make it slightly better. Before I end this, I want before I end this, I want to say if you play the game, that's fine. If you enjoy it, that's fine. But the game is a, that, that has a lot of problems that make it hard to play. For me and other players. I don't hate Chad or his admins, but I think the game but I hate the game. But I think it could be better.
If you like this content and you want to see more, comment down below if you want me to RP a few role if you want me to review a few other role playing games. Comment them down below. And I'll see you all next time. If you like the video, like subscribe, do all that, and see ya.